Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Bird M9 Pro Autoscope. Where the listing says Mod Visual Ear Cleaning Stick with 1080p HD Digital Endoscope for Earmax Cleaning. It has a 4-axis intelligent gyroscope and uh, yeah, it's listed for around $60 and Amazon has pretty good reviews. I have already reviewed another uh, autoscope or earwax cleaning uh, endoscope so i thought i'll give it a try on this one this is the most famous one as i've heard so i thought this could be interesting to review and here we have the specs i go a little bit down so here we can see the details and their product model m9 pro so let's open that and see what we get so it came perfectly sealed, so we know that we got a new one, that's always good. And so let's take it out here. Okay, so here we are. So here we have the information, if you're interested into that, maybe you can check out, already download the app and see what it can do. If you're interested into that, you can see the different tip, how to charge, how to open. Uh, I think it's really worth to keep this thing here. So let's see how this looks. It's a little bit different than the other one. It's uh, definitely more stylish. So like a pen, pen holder and charger. We get also some different tips like these feather tips and other stuff. Yeah, I think that's a great idea to have this uh, like a pen and uh, we can use this as a charging cradle. You can see the green light. Uh, we have to find out if green is charging or charged. So how is it when we take it out? Yeah, I think green light uh, means charging. Yeah, probably when the light is off then it's fully charged and we have also the tips inside we can open that here and we have the tips inside it's pretty heavy so it has a safe stand we have all the tips which you need here uh, easy to take out and put on so let's open the thing and see yeah, it's turning on automatically turning on the light as well so yeah we have already a tip on it and now i see that there's a huge difference compared to the old model which i've been reviewing this has this safety thing here so the tip is better connected i mean safely connected to this uh, otoscope and the yeah after we have removed that it's the same thing we just click it to the side we can put it back but we can secure the thing now uh, that's really cool here and yeah uh, I heard a lot of people have been worried about the tip losing the tip in the nose or uh, even worse in the ears and uh, yeah that's definitely not a good thing and difficult to to grab I mean you could take another one and then take it out but still it's not very comfortable to do and this of course is much more safe I've seen this also with other brands I think that's the new way here uh, yeah that's definitely a big upgrade safety upgrade okay after checking all the hardware uh, yeah, I think it's not a bad device. It looks pretty good. What I just noticed that we don't have this ear canal protection here. There was something with the old model. I think I had the A2 which had some kind of ear canal protection like a plastic plug here on the side which you have been able to adjust to, to make sure that you're going not too deep inside. Uh, yeah, according to the listing it's not possible to damage the eardrum because maybe that's not long enough but for me that looks pretty long I'm not sure about that so I would definitely be careful with these things I mean I'm not a medical doctor I don't have a PhD I'm not a health professional in any kind so make sure if you have a serious issue serious medical problem go to your doctor as usual and uh, just use these things with care, especially also with children and don't uh, let children play around with this thing. This can cause serious uh, damage, but it's really still very helpful. I found the old device, which I had the A2 
helped me a lot with some things uh, to check out some things which I couldn't see like on top of my head or in the back or other places uh, there are some limitations with just using a mirror or like a normal endoscope like a plumber's endoscope uh, you can use that but there are some limitations this is much easier for a lot of locations I would just uh, recommend to be careful with these things especially with this uh, missing ear canal protection here and it also looks like it doesn't have any kind of disinfection LED the old one had like an additional I think UV light disinfection I don't know why they have removed this thing but when it comes to cleaning, uh, the most important thing is still that you can wash the thing, rinse it under the tap. And this is what you can do with both devices, with this M9 Pro and with the A2. So it's safe to rinse and then uh, clean after that, maybe even with a cotton swab, uh, with uh, rubbing alcohol, something like that. So you are sure that it's perfectly uh, fine and safe to use for other person. Uh, I mean for me this uh, thing to secure the tip is a huge upgrade. This is really nice so I would still go probably with this one but you have to be really careful not to go deep into any part of your body with this thing. So yeah let's try to connect it and then see what kind of picture we get. So I have already downloaded the B-Bird and of course I had uh, already been installing or connecting the old one. Uh, I don't know if it's already connected because I've already connected to the old one. It says remaining battery, remaining time. Yeah, let's check on the Wi-Fi. Yeah, I think it's already connected. That's insane here. So it looks like if you have already connected an older device, so you don't have to do anything. So it will, I mean, depending on your Wi-Fi settings, it could uh, instantly connect to this thing. I mean, it, this is emitting a Wi-Fi as soon as you are taking off the cap and you can connect with the app here i never had any problems also with the old first model it looks like the wi-fi connection is really nicely implemented here i really never had any kind of issues that's good so uh, you don't have to be worried i'm not going to show you nasty things i'm just going to try uh, how good the pictures are on my hand here i'm going uh, through a couple of hair my skin and this should be acceptable yeah i put this thing on the side i hope this thing is acceptable for you you can see how nicely we can see this really small hair and everything on the skin and you you can imagine how great this would be as a help for you to see all the details if you want to check something in your mouse or top of your head or on your ears or nose or something like that so you can see everything really nice and watch this hair here how good we can see that here that's insane that's really good and we have some options of course we can uh, make uh, during the observation we can make photos we can record uh, videos and then we can uh, watch this thing after that we can change left and right and we can change also the whole thing here uh, maybe then the image will be a little bit larger i've never tried with this now it's a little bit off here i don't know yeah the gyroscope we have to work a little bit with that at the moment it's not re responding much to that and the picture is a little bit off so i think i go with the other one here you have also a wide lens and a focus lens but there's not much difference so it's just using the uh, whole screen and here it's not using the whole screen so i think i'm better off with the horizontal mode yeah, you can see the both of the modes here yeah uh, what has always been my major concern with this kind of otoscope i mean they're doing a nice job but, but you can see uh, this tip here is blocking almost half of the image i mean we can still see a lot uh, it's really nice but it's still it's blocking quite some area 
uh, but we have to be aware of the that there's a huge problem if we don't use the tip we we have a huge problem with focusing because the focus i mean you could use that uh, without we can uh, unmount this thing here easily and then try the thing but you have to be aware that it's almost not showing anything it has its focal point here which is about i think one inch away and without the tip you can still use this you can see that but you have a hard time to uh, bring it into perfect focus here so that's a little bit the problem but of course you can use that i mean if you if you like you can use this like this and then it will show you larger areas of course uh, but you have to uh, find the correct focus point here so usually it's much easier when you use this thing and then you are always at the perfect distance for a perfect focus when you just go all over it you will be always on in, in a perfect focus so that's much easier but yeah it's it's still about the same as the old model what's good so far there's really no heat here with normal like endoscopes which uh, plumbers are using these tips here where the leds are usually this get insane hot you have to be careful if you use something like that this is much more safe here it's absolutely not warm maybe yeah 25 degrees uh, celsius or so which they claim it's uh, i think it's definitely not more maybe a little bit more but definitely not hot it, it it won't hurt you that's the good thing so maybe the led is further inside and then the the thing is just transported here i have really no clue how they do that the light is uh, pretty strong at, at least strong enough to get a, a nice picture even when it's pitch dark so that's uh, good so i think the overall implementation is really good i'm not going to try everything for me that's really good and stable and uh, as expected and so it's a little bit uh, difficult for me to give a clear advice for you what's the better item if you want to really go deeper inside your ears maybe the a2 b bird a2 is the better option with the ear canal protection which you can put on here and also the disinfection uv light that's something which i really liked and this thing of course yeah has the better protection uh, you don't have to be so careful not to lose this thing the a2 is maybe a little bit more prone to lose the thing if you're not careful in your ears but you have to be careful anyway you can't be too tough on your ears so anyway be careful whatever you do inside your ears so yeah for me at the end of the day both things work good solid they have their advantages and small disadvantages but overall i think that's still something which everybody should have just in case you need something there's an area you want to uh, observe before you want to go to the doctor or maybe there's uh, some kind of lockdown again COVID-19 and you're afraid to go into the waiting room of your doctor and uh, want to make an online appointment uh, I mean there are plenty of online doctor appointments available and, and then you could make like video footage of the affected area and send it to your doctor and then they could analyze and give you some recommendation uh, on, on that i mean i had this already i've been i had something in my throat and then i've made a picture with my mobile phone but yeah it took a long long time and at the end i mean they were my doctor was not really happy with the picture and uh, yeah he just prescribed something in general but i mean with this thing it would have been much easier to get a real diagnose uh, so deep into my throat would have been much better picture better video footage so in this case it would have helped definitely a lot and uh, yeah i'll put down the link of both uh, of these nice devices into the description down there so you can check them out decide on your own which one you want to buy and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching See you next time.